shoulder to overhead. The bar must start touching the shoulder. Athlete will then press the bar directly over the midline with arms fully locked out. Locked out will consist of elbows locked, bar over the head, with the bar will then return to the shoulder touching the collarbone before starting the next rep. Athlete may start in their chair or from the floor, but when they f come to full extension, their butt has to be clear from the floor. The feet may stay on the floor during the pull-up from the top to the bottom. The chin must clear the top of the bar completely. Each pull-up must start from a hang position, fully extended arms. You may return to your chair after each pull-up, but then each pull-up must start again from the bottom being free of the chair in a full hang position. At no time will an athlete be allowed to use their legs to get to the top of the pull-up. If this looks anywhere close to like that, it will be at the wheel wad's discretion whether or not to accept the rep or not. Power Snatch. The barbell begins on the floor and then be lifted to the lap. It must be lifted overhead in one motion. Touch and go is permitted. No bouncing or dropping or catching the barbell on the rebound, once dropped, the barbell must settle on the box or the floor. The athlete begins the next repetition. The barbell may move directly from floor overhead without stopping on the lap or may come from floor to boxes and then to overhead. The barbell must come to full lockout overhead with elbows and arms fully extended, the bar directly or slightly behind the middle of the body. This is not a ground overhead. You may not clean and jerk.